So in this video, we're going to do a little update to our fall detect. We're going to make checkpoints. So if you get far enough in your level, you won't be brought back to the start of your game. You're going to actually you know, go to that checkpoint. So right now I've got nothing. Uh, I fall, I just fall forever. So I'm just going to rewrite that, uh, that fall detect script. So right click, create, C sharp script, fall detect and open that up. You do kind of need to restart this because we're not just going to go to you know, position 000, zero like we did before. It's going to be a variable. So right now um, I'm going to make a new... the position is stored in a vector 3 which is just a way to store three numbers, our x, y, z. So checkpoint and our checkpoint is going to start Oops. It goes new vector three one zero three zero. That sounds good. Where is that even good? Where does my player actually start? Zero seven zero. Okay, we'll do that. Okay. So this is where check how checkpoint will start. And an update every frame we're going to check if our position, our y position, is less than, say, negative 10, then what we want to do is we want to make our transform.position equals checkpoint. Done. So we go to player. We got to attach this. Oops, that's not right. Fall detect. And now if I play, And we jump off. It does nothing. Hmm. Oh, nice. I attached fall detect to a light. <laughs> Whoops. Jeez, what did I just do? Jeez. Whatever. So don't don't attach it to the light. Attach it to your player. There we go. That might be a better idea. We fall off, and boom, we're back. Okay. Now, I'm going to just whip together, you know, a really, really silly little obstacle course dealio here. Now, let's pretend for a moment that this is a truly challenging obstacle course to jump around on. So say you know you're getting far in your level, and we get this far. Now when I fall off, I want to get here because this is like a checkpoint. I don't want to end up right here. I want to end up on that as far as I got over there. So this checkpoint, what we're going to do, this is going to be a lot like ammunition if you've seen that video. Right click, create, C sharp script, call it checkpoint. Um, hmm. You're also going to need, from the ammunition video, you're going to need a uh, the game variable script. Okay, so it just looks like this. You have static, static, no mono behavior over here. And this is a way to keep track of variables everywhere. We're going to need a new one. It is going to be a vector three. And it's going to be called checkpoint. Checkpoint. Okay, so now we have a way to keep track of that. We actually want to go to fall detect. We don't need this checkpoint is different from the game variables checkpoint, okay? So this one's game variables dot checkpoint. These are two different things. We want to use this one now. So I don't need this. And this guy can just go here and I can get rid of that. And when we move it, and if this is red now, always pay attention if, if something's red or there's a squiggly line underlining it, that means it's wrong. Fix it. Fix it before you do anything else. So now our checkpoint starts off here and is there, but the difference is we can change it somewhere else now very easily. So in that checkpoint script we made right here, open this one up. Uh, 
And we don't need these, or do we? No, we don't. <clears throat> so just like ammunition, okay, the on trigger enter, okay. Um, start is something Unity makes happen when we when this thing starts when the cube is made, when or not the cube whenever anything it's attached to is is made and starts. This happens every frame. Unity makes that happen. There's actually a lot more of those. One of them is called on trigger enter. Unity. It's also given some collision or collider. Collider. Hmm. I had to look that up last time online. You know, I basically said how to detect Unity collisions in code or something like that in Google. I found this and it worked. So we use on trigger enter. This is our checkpoint. It's actually really the same thing as ammunition. We're going to take our collider the game object that collided with us. We're going to check that its name is player. You know, you don't want to be able to shoot a blob at a checkpoint or a monster hits a checkpoint. That doesn't do anything. It has to be the player. If it is the player, then game game variables dot checkpoint equals our position the position of whatever checkpoint, whatever we're attached to here. So we save that. And now we need to make the actual checkpoint thing we're going to run into. We're going to make it a sphere. Um, we're going to make it over here. Okay, and one thing, got to do this is trigger, because we don't want stuff to hit this cute this sphere and bounce off. It's not that kind of collider. We want a trigger collider that just detects when something runs into it. And I'll just put another oh I didn't actually attach the thing. You also have to add our checkpoint script to it. And I'm gonna control C to copy this. Bring it over here. Okay, so say I make it this far and go through my little checkpoint. Now I can fall off and we ended up back here onto this checkpoint. And you know, you can make as many of these as you want. And once we go through this one, it'll do this, this position. It'll be the transform position of whatever we ran into. And so there's your checkpoint.